Hey everybody, I promised you a little bit longer what I learned from Grandma Cassie and here it is. So in my 44 years of life, there's been a few constants. My father, of course, um, and Grandma Cassie. So growing up, we lived in the bottom floor of Grandma Cassie's two family house. I would have two breakfasts a day, one downstairs and one upstairs. The upstairs one usually consisted of Wonder Bread with lots and lots of butter and coffee. Yes, my love affair of coffee started with my grandparents. If I needed to escape my parents, I would shoot upstairs. It was great. At times it was a little bit difficult uh, living there, a little bit, but I know for the vast majority, my brother, uh, my sister, and I really loved growing up on 921 York Street. Now, just a few, maybe a month ago or so, uh, after a fall, perforated stomach, two failed surgeries, uh, Grandma Cassie passed. Uh, it was very, very hard for our whole family. She was the matriarch of our family. So the morning of the, you know, you're getting ready for the funeral, the wake, the repast, I really felt like I had to say something at the repast. And uh, I was thinking, you know, nothing was coming to mind. And it just struck me, as things do, uh, when you start reflecting on things, right into my consciousness, consciousness popped in what I learned from Grandma Cassie. And I quickly scribbled it down on a piece of paper, and I gave it for the first time at the repast, and I promised that I would share a little bit more with all of you today. So I think you'll really like it. I think it's fun. Some of it's funny, um, but you can all learn from it as well, uh, too, for sure, without a doubt. Uh, so let's go through the fourth. The first one is love and family. Grandma Cassie was extremely loving. At an early age, she moved my uncle and my mother out of Passaic uh, to East Rutherford, which is a little bit nicer, safer area. Uh, she provided a home uh, for, for my family or our family, my dad, mother, brother, father, sister, uh, she was very, very caring. I, looking through pictures now, huge smiles on her face when we were in the bungalow down the shore or in the Catskills or with our friends in Virginia. Uh, it was just a loving, loving individual. And family was super, super important to her. You could see that in her children, in her grandchildren, and in her nine great-grandchildren. And you could also see it in her repast as well. There was her family, her immediate family, her extended family, her work family, all sorts of different families were there. So family is really important, folks. Don't ever forget that. Number two is wealth. You know, one of the first conversations I ever had about money was uh, talking about Grandma Cassie, and she said, you, you should always put money away for a rainy day. <clears throat> and I can remember that pretty distinctly. And I think we were talking about a typewriter back then, if you could believe that. Uh, but she was my first financial advisor. I loved listening to her speak about money. I loved le le learning from her on how she amassed a, a pretty small fortune. Um, and without being specific, because I'm no financial advisor myself, but I loved listening to how um, she took advantage of high interest rates and high bond rates and saved persistently and consistently over a long, long period of time. And that would be my suggestion to you is whatever investment vehicle you do, invest persistently, consistency for a long period of time. And it should work out for you. Uh, uh, she also bought me, uh, gave me one of my first credit cards, allowed me to uh, buy books for school and things like that and taught me kind of money responsibility. Uh, so persistent, consistent, work hard, save, have some fun. That's what I learned from Grandma Cassie. Number three is health, another interesting one. Grandma Cassie was always thin, very active. I can't remember her exercising other than walking much. Um, she went to bed relatively early, didn't really eat very much. Um, she didn't indulge very much either. She uh, loved her cottage cheese and fruit for lunch and um, a shot and a beer most every single day, which is really cool too. But one of the most interesting things about health that I learned from Grandma Cassie was she was a lifelong devotee of Silva Mind Control. She found out, learned, and implemented early on that true health 
starts in between your ears with your brain. Your central nervous system, your brain, your spine controls and coordinates everything you do. And if you control your mind, you can control your life. And of course, by the way, she got adjusted every other week, whether in the house or in the office. The final thing I learned from Grandma Cassie was about faith. Uh, she went to church every single Saturday for probably 60, 70, 80 years. Um, she donated a lot of money. I joke she probably paid for the elevator at Sacred, uh, uh, Sac- Sacred Heart. Um, but when we asked my son Hayden, uh, who do your confirmation, who do you want your confirmation sponsor to be? And immediately, without a doubt, he said, Grandma Cassie. Now, is this everything I learned from Grandma Cassie? No. Do I ex- expect this to be a growing kind of presentation? Yes. But I hope you've learned a little bit. Please, if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them as always. Be awesome and never unawesome. And time for me to see a few patients. Bye.